listen to the message of Hebrews. Memory text. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 1. This is the main point of the things we are saying. We have such a high priest who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. So Hebrews was written by Paul to strengthen the faith of believers, I mean their trust. He reminded them that the promises of God will be fulfilled through Jesus, who is seated at the right hand of the Father, and who will soon take us home. Jesus is our King. The main point of Hebrews is that Jesus is the ruler, who is seated at the right hand of the Father. He is God. Jesus always has been the ruler of the universe. But when Adam and Eve sinned, Satan became the ruler of this world. Jesus, however, came and defeated Satan at the cross, recovering the right to rule those who accept him as their savior. The first two chapters of Hebrews focus especially on the inauguration of Jesus as king. One of the most important beliefs of the New Testament is that in Jesus, God fulfilled his promises to David. You can see this on 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 8 to 6, and Luke chapter 1, verse 30 to 33. Jesus is our mediator. Jesus is the mediator of God's blessings to us. He is the mediator in that he is the channel through whom God's blessings flow. Our ultimate hope of salvation is found only in Jesus and what he has done for us. Jesus is our companion. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 to 16 describes Jesus as a companion of weak human beings. Jesus is our high priest. Hebrews chapter 5 up to 7 introduces a second function of Jesus. He is our high priest. The priests were appointed on behalf of human beings to represent them and mediate their relationship with God and the things pertaining to Him. However, in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, believers in Jesus are called the royal priesthood. This role, this role implies incredible privileges. Today, we can approach God through prayer with confidence. According to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 to 16, and Hebrews chapter 10, the verses 19 to 23. Jesus mediates a better covenant. By, accompanying, by appointing Jesus as our high priest, the Father inaugurated a new covenant that is that will accomplish what the old covenant could only anticipate god designed the covenant in order to point to the future god designed the old covenant in order to point to the future to the work of jesus so the new covenant is there to help us understand and believe that Jesus is there to save us from sin. And our salvation is through Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. Amen.